Once the lake has been cleaned and prepped, a needle is used to access the softness vein under ultrasound guidance. After access has been made, a thin wire is fed through the needle. The needle is then pulled out and a dilator is fed over the wire into the vein. The wire and a portion of the dilator is then pulled out. The dilator placement is checked with the ultrasound and the skin is numbed along the course of the vein. The radial frequency catheter is then fed through the dilator and visualized with the ultrasound. Once placement is confirmed, measurements are taken from the tip of the catheter to the end of the vein. Adjustments are now made at this time. After the catheter's position is in the correct place, the vein's surrounding structures are numbed with an anesthetic fluid called tumescent. Tumescent surrounds the vein just like a donut to create a protective barrier between the vein and the surrounding structures, such as nerves, muscles, and other tissue. The tumescent is administered along the entire course of the vein. As you can see, some of the fluid leaks out of the needle stick site. This is completely normal. It may look bloody, but it is actually just the tumescent fluid with a tiny amount of blood tinge. Once the proper amount of tumescent is administered, the radio frequency machine is turned on and the vein is closed down in 7 cm segments down the course of the vein. Once the vein has been closed down, the ultrasound technician checks the top of the vein, steri strips are then applied to the small incision site, and stockings are applied. 